we save you some money and get you to just shop your own makeup bag for new looks. That's why Dino Delio's here. He's going to help us with that right now. You know, there's like a whole wonderland happening in our cosmetic bags, and sometimes you forget the stuff at the bottom, and you just get stuck using uh -huh. the same products again and again. Yes. So you're going to nudge us out of that a little bit. Uh, we're going to save some money and tweak our look yeah. using what's actually in our bag. And McKenna here is our model. Yes, she is. Thank you for that, McKenna. So, you know, spring is coming, and a lot of times people want to go out and buy all new makeup, and you don't always have the money to do it, right? Right. So what I would say is, like, you do have makeup stashed away under the sink, maybe under the bed. You yes. know, we all have our little secret <laughs> place. Yeah. And shoe boxes. Yeah. I've seen so many. Um, so instead of that, pull it all out. It's springtime. Lay it all out, and I bet you you'll find the colors I'm going to show you today that are always fashionable for spring. So, okay. starting with pinks and oranges are always classic for spring, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's a little bit too much. So, you can change the color. So, I'm going to start with pink. I'm going to put pink on my hand here. And so you put that on your lip, you go, oh my god, that's too strong. Mm -hmm. Take a neutral color, so something that's close to your lips. Put that on top, that's gonna start to soften it down. Oh yeah. It really, it sort of reduces the intensity, mm -hmm. okay? If you still feel like it's a little too bright, then go with something like in the beigey family, yeah. something pearly, put that on top, and look how that changes it as well, okay? Yeah. And then you think, oh, what's this orange gonna look like? Why not? Mix Let's that into the bag, it, right? Because that's we? what it's about. <laughs> you do this with a glass of wine and a lot of cleaners, okay? Yeah. Just have your makeup okay. wipe standing by. And coral yeah. is made with pink and orange. That's all right. right. So now you've got your mix, all right? So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do a very, so you can control the way it's gonna look. So I'm gonna do something like a bomb. So I'm just gonna use mm -hmm. my finger, press it into the lip, you know, and you get a very sheer application. You wanna build it up, layer it on more. And of course, if you want a real big punch, use the the, the stick directly right. on the lip. And do what I just did on my hand, mm -hmm. and do it on your lips. That's also magical too, because our hand skin is different than our lip skin. So okay? application is everything. If you're using a lip brush, it's gonna come on a little bit more than using yes. your finger. If you're using it right from the tube, it's gonna come on even more yes. than using a lip brush. Um, application is everything for it the really intensity. It really is, and it's just a matter of changing up the color. Once you learn what works for you in terms of techniques, placement, and all that, mm -hmm. you just change up the colors. So right. the same thing can be done with blush. So what I wanna do is, so you know, the deeper the skin, the richer the color will be, the lighter the skin, the more softer it will be. So I want to kind of mix these up. Now, I don't want to do this on my hand. What I always do is do it on a tissue like this. You're going to pick up one color, mm -hmm. the second color, and you're going to start to mix. And this way, you're pre-mixing it. You're checking the color there. It's like, oh, it's still too, maybe a little bronzer in there. Oh, it's too much, too much. <laughs> so take a little highlighter, mix yeah. that in, and you custom create your color. Then remember right. your recipe, okay? Don't drink too much while you do it. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go across here, because I think that one's gonna be very pretty on our lovely model. Okay, so there we go. Now give me a smile. So when you do blush, for spring, it's really about more on the apple. So okay. start on, give me a smile. Some people have apples and some people have grapes, okay? <laughs> so start on the apple, Just keep smiling, keep smiling. I know it's weird to do this in the morning when you have no one's looking at you, but the best way to put on blush is do it while you're smiling. While so you're when smiling. you're not smiling, it looks just as good. Look at that, just warmed you that right really up there, McKenna. Up. Very nice. Now, so, and that's a yeah, great color for her. So it's a, pinks and peaches are classic alone or together, yeah. they're just beautiful. You should have them in staples in your makeup bag. Okay. And what's also really nice too is, instead of shadows, you know, all these crazy colors, close your eyes, and she's a mama, she's gonna have a baby soon, keep it easy, yeah. baby. I always bring the blush into the eye, open your eyes, and you see it just adds a little bit more color to the picture. Lovely. So mix what you've got. Mix what you got, baby. Here. Yeah. Okay, so we've by. done a little bit of, we've done some lip, yep. we've done some blush, a little bit of uh, shadow. And now, yes. whenever I see clients in the studio, they either are not wearing concealer or not the right one, and yeah. concealer really will brighten up your eyes. I'm sure I've showed this before. So I love these concealer pens because they're liquid and they're light. You never put too much on. Okay. So you're going to click it. Get your brush loaded up like you would a nail polish, okay? You don't go from clicking over there, you'll get a big mess. And the little spots that really benefit are the, actually do this side. <laughs> I'll fix you up afterwards, I promise. McKenna, is that your first baby that you're having in June? Yeah. She's gonna need concealer, a lot of concealer. <laughs> so, this is so, a great tip for her. In there. Yeah. Under the brow, like a highlighter. Oh, that's nice. Okay, and then just blend it out. And a really good trick if you're tired. Yeah. Put it on a 45 degree angle, the outside of your eye, like a little wall, 
Mm. Tap it in and blend it, and look how it shifted her eye open. That is so nice. It's a really good trick for everybody that's got those bedroom eyes and they don't want to be sleeping. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be your best friend, and congratulations to you. I'm so happy for you. That's lovely.